Danny's Perfect. here. Glad to have you, Danny. Come we on We were just in. talking about we you. We were just talking about you. Oh, have oh, a seat oh, there oh, and have a seat here, hon. You can have, yeah. And, uh, because we're really letting people know how important it is to, to get, get out, out and vote. vote. G-O-V. Isn't that interesting that G-O-V and get out and vote is the, uh, the same thing? Well, I think that uh, poor Danny here, when I had called him two years ago and said, hey, Danny, so what do you think? What do you want to do? He was like, what is this girl doing? What is she got up her sleeve? But he liked the idea, and here we are. We're doing a round two in 2018. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's, been, it's been fun. It's been successful. And, you know, the response has been uh, really positive for both of us. It has, definitely. And we've got 18 candidates so far. That's terrific. Isn't that good? That is, I think yeah. that's more than last that's time. That's terrific. Yeah, it is. 18. Isn't that great? Mm -hmm. Everyone from governor to lieutenant governor to um, state house representatives to mayor, you name it. Oh. I just sent, I'm oh, sorry, I just sent it to you <laughs> via email. Here I am yes. talking to him like I'm in a meeting. Yes. Um, so I sent it to you via email so you could take a peek at it. And I, well. I did, and I sent you some comments. Oh, did you? Thank it's you, it's sir. Ex it's exciting. So you know, it. it just keeps expanding. And, you know, especially for our, our voters of this community, this election is just paramount. It's, it's really important because the direction our county will be heading in in the next couple of years is really indicative of what happens in this upcoming election. So you at the shopping center is playing such an incredible role in helping to educate and provide a forum where our people can just, you know, show up at one of the most popular places, you know, on the island at Queen Kaahumanu mm -hmm. and not only have the opportunity to shop, but to be educated about all the candidates. Yeah. That's absolutely incredible, Tony. Oh, thank you so much. Well, I'll be very honest with you. I need to be more educated about the candidates. I do, too. I mean, I, I know a do. number of them, mm -hmm. and I understand their various platforms and what they stand behind and their kind of vision for the future, but there's certainly others I don't. And I think that this is an opportunity for me to just walk up and just yes. ask them flat out. And it might even right. be good to do a little homework as far as knowing what questions you want to ask. Oh, absolutely. And then good. you can go around to each person and say, and Same then question. get your notes, yeah, and mm -hmm. see the differences uh, on the points you want. I love politicians, but <laughs> they, sometimes they <laughs> won't, if you just go say hi, they'll talk about the things they want to talk right. about. So it's good to know what you are really need to be informed about, but what do you really care about? So you can ask them those questions and find out what the answers are, right? Um, I think it's also nice, too. I mean, they all have websites, and we can all read a lot of information. But I also like to look them in the I eye. I do, too. Yeah, absolutely. I want to see what you're all about. Yeah. And right? that's 18 candidates is a good amount. So. Yeah, I think so. And I, I think it's nice and strong, strong number. And certainly if there's any others out there that really need to get in, you know, let me know. Oh, and we'll yeah, see definitely. what we can do. Yeah. But, but, you know, we think it's a great opportunity for everyone, the community, to come out and ask those questions. Are you going to be there that day, Dan? Absolutely. Oh, he has <laughs> no choice. <laughs> because he's going to be doing all those voter registrations. Yeah, And, you know, being be able to provide general information about uh, elections, um, you know, generically, as well as trying to recruit our people to help us in our polling places because there oh, is right. always yes. a need for help. And this year is no different. We have a major need of uh, having people volunteer. I mean, they get paid a stipend. It is a long day. We have 34 precincts in our county. And we do need help. Great. Yeah. That's so how, important where to do know. they go to volunteer? Well, you know, at, uh, for, for us, they can either go online and they can apply online or come into our office um, and they can sign up for, you know, vol to volunteer at one of our polls. They will be trained. There's many training opportunities for them. Uh, and then, you know, we... Um, get them prepped and ready. The Can they do that at the at the event at the Qu Q I will QKC? Be Is that going to be also an opportunity on the Saturday after next? Absolutely, absolutely. I will be recruiting people, you know, at the shopping center, providing them with general information. Um, and, you know, uh, we have opportunity to talk registration, right. voter registration, 
um, permanent absentee voting, as well as recruiting for the people we need to help us in our polls. And it's not only adults. If you're 16 years of age oh. Oh. and you want to participate wow. in the democratic process, mm -hmm. then, hey, by all means, we welcome you to participate. I hope the college is aware of this and right. the high schools are aware of this because what a wonderful opportunity yeah. for young people to, who, who seem to care more now the days than ever I've ever seen them before, but to get yes. involved and learn yeah. about it and maybe some of them dream about actually running for an office in the mm -hmm. future. Oh, so yeah. what would be a better way than actually getting out there and, and learning through a process like this? Yes. So those presidents of the student councils out there oh, in yeah. the high schools. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, you need to get your whole team out there. Yeah. And a I great agree. way to make a little money on the side too, right? Absolutely. And they can also use it as a fundraising opportunity. Oh, I hadn't know, thought about because that. Because say if you've got like a senior class and there's like 20 you know who put together a core group and they're looking at means of fundraising well the 20 individuals can volunteer to work at the polling place they get like 85 dollars uh, a day as a poll worker and at the end uh, you know after elections yeah. over when you get your check they can just turn the check over to their wow. senior class like that. and that's, that's a, a great fundraising idea opportunity. in one day done mm -hmm. Yeah. I yeah. like that. I like fundraising when it's in one day too. and not spread out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, that's that's excellent. Well, uh, that's a wonderful opportunity. Well, I'm going to ask you a bunch of other questions, and I'm sorry I haven't introduced your other guest here. So let's, in, uh, I hate to just ignore another woman here in the room. And what's your name? My name is Dana. Hi, Dana. Hi. How are you? What I'm do you fine. do? I'm your driver. <laughs> wow, Danny! <laughs> Didn't realize the county oh. did that. Wait a second! I, there was a Beatles song like "Baby, I Can Drive Your Car." <laughs> I'm working at the wrong place. <laughs> now, Dana is is our senior uh -huh. clerk at the uh, office of uh, the clerk. Got Wonderful! It. So you get a lot of calls too. We do get. A I lot may of have calls. called you a few times actually. <laughs> it could have been it me. It could have been you. <laughs> <laughs> no. Because there is so much that we need to talk about here. We're going to get into, I may even go Facebook Live here, because this is such an important subject um, that I, I, I was starting to get freaked out about it. I started thinking about it last week. I went, well, people, it's coming up yes, and people it is aren't coming. aware right. of it. And we the countdown to, is on. Yeah, mm -hmm. and we really need to let everyone know how important it is to be involved. And, you know, there's always this, uh, an element of people that think they don't make a difference. And I'll tell you, every time I do these primaries, I there's always at least one or two. You know this is true, Danny. Where you go, oh, my gosh, it's so close. Yes. My gosh, it's like 20, 30, 40, 50 people. Oh, I see. Or, yes, you know, that, yes. That, that you realize. You can when be the you, deciding vote. Yes. What you mm -hmm. realize when you look at those figures, yeah. that if, you, if just a few more people had gone out one way or the other, that they would have realized, they do make a difference. And on this island, more than probably anywhere else I can think of, this small community of this island, every person does make a difference because I was wondering, Danny, how many people usually, what percentage of people do we see getting out and voting for the primaries? Well, you know, I think cumulatively, cumulatively, when you look at uh, the last election, 2016, um, Maui County, uh, the numbers are usually higher than the state total, but it's still rather low. We're still talking about um, 40, 50 percent. Um, and, and that's kind of unfortunate because the Office of Elections does so much in trying to uh, advise our people and make options available to them and methods of um, availability to people to actually register to vote, whether it be online, at the libraries. Um, you know, we go out to so many different functions. Um, you know, to register to vote is so easy. Nowadays, it takes three minutes or so just to get registered to vote. Um, there's so many opportunities that when somebody tells us that uh, we didn't have a chance to register, that's, you know, come on. <laughs> you yeah. know, QKC Guest Services has those forms as well. 
Oh, I didn't know that. And I was just at a Maui Chamber of Commerce event last week, and they were handing them out to all of us who attended the board installation luncheon with the governor. Mm -hmm. So I think there's definitely opportunities, whether you need a hard copy or whether you prefer to go to a website. What website should they go to if they wish to register? If they wish to, if they wish to register, the website is hawaii.gov slash elections. Ah. And that'll, that'll take you to the, the state website. Now, I take advantage of the early voter. Mm-hmm. Because I find that a lot more convenient. The absentee vote. Ab- thank you. Mm-hmm. Sorry. It's the absentee vote. And uh, I love that I just get something in the mail. Yep. I can make my decisions at home. Look it over. Look it over. Yep. Seal it up. Pop it back in the mail. And it's gone. And isn't this becoming more and more of a trend that more and more people are doing absentee voting? Absolutely. The numbers have increased. In the last uh, general election, uh, it was almost 50-50. Wow. Those who go to the poll and those who actually vote either by permanent absentee or early walk. Ah. So do the abs- this is a question because we are going to be covering the primaries. Do the absentee votes usually get counted before the other votes or because or do we have to wait? I know we always have to wait till the polls close, but do the absentee votes start getting counted that day? No. No, everything, you have to wait till everything, everything closes. Yeah. Absolutely. Ah, I yeah. see. I mm-hmm. see. And then, and you know, for a point of interest for this upcoming election for the early walk, um, usually it's held in the county clerk's office in Wailuku in the county building. This year, however, there is a change. We no mm-hmm. longer will be doing the early walk in the county building. We have moved everything to the Velma McWayne Santos Wailuku Community oh, Center. Oh, good idea. And the reason for that is because during the last election, we had um, over 5,000 people come to the county <laughs> building to vote. <laughs> and we, we kind of... Between pedestrian we, yeah. traffic <laughs> and vehicular traffic, yeah. it was a little congested, Yeah, we kind, of, we kind <laughs> okay. of paralyzed everything. You got it. So this way, if you move it to Velma Santos, you've got so much more right. space to work with and parking's not it's a problem. It's still convenient. So can you Very explain convenient. to those who have never been there before how they get there and what it's near? Because this is new, and some people will think that they can do early walk-in mm-hmm. voting by going to your office yeah. at the county building. But no, this is now this new location. So we want to let people know, because you know how we are. You can give an address and no one's going to know where it is here, but you have right. to say where it's near. What, what are the near? What are the, the streets and buildings it's near? Well, why don't we have Dana okay. share that information All right, with us. Dana. Okay, it's going to be held at the Valma McWayne Santos Community Center. Um, also known uh, as? Also known as Wailuku <laughs> Community Center. Okay. <laughs> okay. And the address is 395 Waena Street, Wailuku High, 96793. Okay, if you just go down the road to the lower post office main. and lower, lower main, main, you, you lower take main, a left at that traffic light. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Left or right, depending which way you're coming. Right? If you're coming yeah. from yes. Wailuku, yeah. you're going to take a left. Yell mm-hmm. Park if you're going, side. Yeah, yes. Mm-hmm. Yell Park side. Yeah, mm-hmm. okay, so, so that's going to be open what hours? Eight in the morning until four thirty. Eight mm-hmm. in the morning till four, and this is going to be four, how many four. days before uh, you start taking early walk-ins? Starting July thirtieth 30? through August. Wow, 9th. that's not that far yeah. away. Mm-hmm. Around the corner, we'll, we'll yeah. want to announce all of and that. And get out and vote too. Both yes. Saturdays yes. as well. Yes. We have it posters. Posters, yeah. terrific. Yeah. So what's did so? Some people think they just naturally always are registered. Um, but sometimes people move. In fact, on this island, we get a lot of people mm-hmm. moving, right? So how do you know if you are registered or not registered? Well, the easiest thing to do is call the county clerk's office. And that is such an easy number. It's 270-7749. Let's repeat mm. that. 270-7749. Now, I received a, a yellow card in the mail. Mm-hmm. Now, that tells me that I'm officially registered, right? Because it tells Ah. me my precinct and where I need to go to vote. So if you've got the card, you're in good shape. You don't need to make the phone card yet. Then if you haven't haven't gotten your card because it was sent out last month, then you should give the county clerk's office a call and just ask them to verify your status. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, That's that's an an easy process. So then I would need to maybe go out and register again. 
Because I did you move. know if you if you relocated or if you yep. you know had a name change by you know marriage yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. then you know yeah you would need to uh, update. See, I didn't even think of that till just now. Ah, but I had okay. moved in that and that indeed is going to be the thing and. I'd be just thinking, oh, I'm going to get that card any day now. But <laughs> right. <laughs> well, I got mine. I was like, oh, okay, good. You're I registered. got my card. <laughs> All right. I'm good to go. Yeah. I hold on to that thing. Let me tell you. Did you take a look above the card when you received it? Let's show it? the card. It'll show uh, what precinct pool you go to or if you're a permanent right, absentee Right, right. So it tells you exactly what yeah. to do absolutely. and where to go. I absolutely love that. Mm-hmm. Makes but, it very simple. But these days, as we said, a lot of people are not you know, actually going in. And will it tell you, it tells you on the card if you're getting your absentee um, Oh, does ballot? it say that? It I say don't that? remember that. It'll say above here if you're receiving a permanent absentee by mail. Oh, okay. okay, good. So if you get registered now, if you get registered now or at the Qu- Queen Commons Center next Saturday, mm-hmm. not this coming Saturday, then can you still get absentee, register for absentee? Uh, yeah, you still can because the deadline to sign up for permanent absentee is, oh, let's see, last day for absentee. August 4th. August 4th. Okay. Now, there's not two different absentees, is there? Permanent yeah. and something else. It's just permanent absentee and that's it. Yeah. Got it. This deadline okay. is for people who are registering for the first time. Ah, okay. So if you're okay. already okay. registered and like right. you, you have Moved. to update your information, yeah. mm-hmm. you're fine. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. How many? Um, can you share with us how many total uh, people are registered to vote in Maui County? Um, you know, we were just talking about that uh, earlier today. Uh, right now, right now, uh, we have uh, a little about ninety-four thousand. That's good. People registered to vote, mm-hmm. and when you figure that uh, 40, 50 percent right. actually participate in the process. I see. Um, so yeah, let's make Danny look good this year. Okay. Let's get that number up. Because oh, I think it was right? around, was it 40,000 last year? That I'm trying to remember the number. In but 2016? It, it might have been 35 or something About like that. It was, yeah. it mm-hmm. looked mm-hmm. low to me. At that yeah, point. I remember so it was low. Because yeah. yeah. I'm going, well, where? In so a, it's one thing to register. It's another thing that you actually get out there and vote. Yes. Or you do the absentee ballot. Yeah. yeah. That's what you have to do. And it only takes, what, a minute, a couple mm-hmm. minutes? Yeah, yeah, and like yeah. I said, for me, it's great to do the absentee ballot because I can do it, you know, late at night by myself, and I'm, I'm done. Right. Mm-hmm. But certainly, mm-hmm. I understand those people who feel like they need to go to yes. the actually polling places, and they feel it's their right to, and they should have that. So I'm glad that there's these different options for everybody. Oh yeah. Can it, we go over that? Speaking of that, the rules and regulations, because you know, a lot of people are young, voting maybe for the first time, maybe they moved here. Yeah. Can we go over the etiquette and what is and, uh, you know, all what is important to know when you go to the precinct and you actually do follow the rules of what it takes to vote there? Yes. Dana, you want to share? When they're picking up their ballot to vote at the precinct poll? Is that what you're asking? When they actually go to vote, yeah. It's so it's precinct. best to yeah. take your yellow card. You can take your yellow Absolutely. card, right? bring uh, some kind of form of ID. Um, what if you don't bring your yellow card? ID, what if I forget that at home? Passport. Your, your ID. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, and if you have your, you don't have the yellow card, but you have your ID, you will be able to track them down and find out if they're registered yes, pro- properly Yes, they will or not. call the uh, elections office, the clerk's office. Mm-hmm. Oh, they will. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, and then this year, when you go to the polls, there's going to be a listing that will be posted on the wall with... Uh, all of the registered voters in that particular uh, district. So you would go to the chart, you would find your name, and you would, ha- you know, you would know at that point you're listed. Mm-hmm. So at that point, you would go in and sign in to uh, get your ballot. Uh, if you're not, we also have to remember because of state law, if you're not registered on election day, mm-hmm. you still can show up at the polling place. It's called same-day voter registration. Well, this is important to know, and folks. And you oh. can still apply to vote mm-hmm. at the polling place. You can. Yeah. You see, now a lot of people wow. did not probably know that. You didn't know that, did I you? I had no idea. Yeah. So, you know, say you you haven't had a lot of interest, and then you see that the numbers are getting close, and you want to be that deciding <laughs> factor. 
You well, get down you, to you the, couldn't see that because they don't give you any of the information. Oh, nothing up front until That's the right. polls That's close. Right. We don't know anything here either until the polls close, <gasps> and even after the, the polls close, you don't know because sometimes we wait hours, oh, right? That's right. It's, but you could few. be the difference, right? But you definitely you could, could be the, make the difference. Yes. You could, and it's not like here we have the people, the news people, doing exit polls here or something. That's we right. don't have we don't have people Got doing it. the exit polls, and so we don't even have a clue. And, and a lot of times, exit polls are wrong, anyway. So. So, yeah, but um, so uh, that's another question. Do sometimes uh, do you keep people who are politicians from being there at the polling place um, trying to influence voters? It's totally restricted. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And they're advised way in advance. You know, um, the counting center is at the county building. Mm -hmm. So uh, during Election Day, they're all restricted from, uh, you know, showing up there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That's important important to know it this is a small community and when we look at the figures that we had two years ago um which was small i th i think it was like 35 or forty thousand that that we had for the primaries yeah well the num the numbers you know in the last election mm -hmm. we had ninety three thousand nine hundred twelve registered voters of that number forty eight thousand 584 actually voted. And I think that was actually a larger percentage here on Maui than it was on some of the other islands, wasn't it? Yeah. Maui had a 51.7%. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. know, that's still dismal, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. but it was, you know, uh, a rather good showing, they say, for us. But mm -hmm. for us, who's in the business of doing this yes. and running the elections, you know, we're never satisfied. Mm. So um, this is big news that I want to, again, repeat, because um, this is some people may not know that, that there is this rule that if you have not still registered and maybe something happened, like me, you moved or something and you haven't gotten anything, you can go down to your polling place. Now, you may have to call to find out what your polling place is at mm -hmm. that point or go to your website, right? And then you go down to your polling place and you ha can do same-day registration. What do people need to bring with them to get registered that well, day? Photo ID, if you have it, so driver's license or your state ID. Mm -hmm. And if you don't have those things uh, with you, then you can bring things like um, a utility bill, something that would have your name and mm -hmm. your resident address, um, a paycheck, uh, your bank account, your checking accounts, mm -hmm. uh, something that shows name and address, mm -hmm. so we can verify um, that you are who you say you are. It has mm -hmm. to be a residence mm -hmm. address, no mm -hmm. PO box. Mm -hmm. Oh, good point. And mm -hmm. I remind you, they can actually go online right now and see their ballot. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. You can go online, go to the uh, elections.hawaii.gov, and click on View Your Ballot, and then you can type in uh, scroll down and type in the island and your street, and it'll pull up your ballot. And you know, one other thing that mo a lot of people are not aware of, as much as I do this, I still get surprised. It's a little different in Hawaii, so if people have moved here from other places. You don't see Republican and Democrat candidates, right. which can be confusing yes, sometimes it can to be. people. You think, oh, I'm going to vote Democrat, I'm going to vote Republican. You're right. But I remember looking for remember that. Remember seeing that? You know? <laughs> yes. So, yes. so you know, you got to be aware here if you've moved or you're not aware. Maybe you haven't voted before. Maybe you're young, you're going, oh, I'm going to vote Democrat, I'm going to vote Republican. You're not going to see that in the council members, or you're not going to see that in the mayor, voting for mayor. You're just going to see the names of the candidates, mm -hmm. correct? Correct. And the, the county of Maui, you know, yeah, it is an, we're a nonpartisan county. Mm -hmm. So um, it, it doesn't mean that the candidates are not part or members of a political party. Mm -hmm. All it means that the election itself is nonpartisan. Mm -hmm. So the county council and the mayors uh, are all nonpartisan uh, in a nonpartisan race. The state candidates, uh, you know, you'll see the D and the R on their mm -hmm. campaign. Right. What if someone wanted to find out, though, if they were a Republican or a Democrat? Where, where can they find that information? You can, you can go to their, the individual candidates' websites. Got it. Okay. Now, I can't believe it, but we only have three minutes left. Can oh. you believe how time's flown? Oh. We want to talk about a very important event that you're going to have drive-through registration coming Abs up, correct? Absolutely. The, we're going to participate in the state drive. It's called the drive-through voter registration. Uh, it's going to be held at the Kahalui Shopping Center. 
And what this is, is uh, if you hadn't already registered to vote, you drive right up to the tent, right under the tent. Uh, don't get out of your car. Our people will go to your vehicle. They'll register you in your vehicle. And in three minutes, you're out of there and you're, you, you know, you're registered what to vote. What a brilliant vote. idea. I love it. I, I love I it. I love now, the convenience what's, what's of that. What's the date of that again? It is on uh, July 12th. July 12th. You need to bring... Yeah. An ID, even if your driver's license well, doesn't have Thursday. PO box, mm-hmm. that yes. is. Yes. <laughs> that's this Thursday you, yes. from eight to four. You need 30. to have a yes. legal ID that shows okay. your address. Okay, mm-hmm. that's important. Mm-hmm. So you could drive through, and it doesn't. Mm-hmm. If you don't have that, you can't do it. Well, I would also think that would be convenient for all the the parents that have yes. kids in the car and they don't want to get out and you know all of that, right? Mm-hmm. It, it, so they can just drive through real quick. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and and the application <laughs> process has been simplified, so it's really right. easy to do. And, and so there's no excuses, folks. There are no <laughs> excuses. You're right. I, I You're agree. Right. I agree. Yeah. In the last election, uh, we held this at uh, Baldwin High School, and ah. we had a little uh. over 100 people Ooh, come in good. and registered. Well, so, let's remind people the age for yes, voting. Yes. How old do you have to be to vote? To vote, it's 18. To register, you 16. You ah. can register... Um, you know, but uh, if you want to vote, you've got to be 18. Now, 18 is good. I mean, a lot of people, again, may not be aware of this. This is where I would love to see the high schools or groups or, or organizations that deal with young people. I mean, there's bands and things out there. This is a way that you can get your folks out there and learn and get them registered early and get them to participate. Um, you can do the drive through Thursday going on again the hours? From 8 in the morning till 4.30. Leave that here because I would love that information. Mm -hmm. (laughs) 8 in the morning to 4.30 at the Kahanlui Shopping Center. Don't forget you can go to the Queen Ka'amanu Center um, on Saturday, the 20... Is that the... It's a Saturday after next. Yes, Saturday the 21st. The 21st. Absolutely. From 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. for Get Out and Vote. And Danny's going to be down there. You can register then as well. You can find out more information. You can meet the candidates. You can come prepared. That's right. Again, if you want to register um, at that time, you need to bring a legal ID with your address on it to get registered to vote, you know. And if you don't have your address on your driver's license or something, you need to bring something that shows, like it would be your water bill or something like that, that would actually have a legal address for you as well, right? Correct? Bank account, checking account. Banking account, checking account. Yeah. But a lot of people use P.O. boxes on their bank account, so that's important to remember, too. Danny, this is really important. I'm so glad you both came down here, and and it's wonderful to see you, too. Um, It's wonderful to see you, Tony. And this is uh, is a super important thing. August 11th is the primaries, folks. I mean, that is coming up really, really soon. Um, I would love to see the numbers up. This is an important, it's always important elections, but we're talking, you know, some important decisions being made here. Yeah, come on, Maui County. Yeah, get let's, out there. Let's show them. Get involved. Right. It doesn't take a lot to get involved, right? <laughs> and a little bit of everyone participating. Tell your friends, come down, maybe do a group vote, making it a special get-together and vote, you know, thing. It's going to be fun. It's going to be making you feel like you're involved. And I'll tell you something, if you've gone out and voted, you're going to be more caring about what happens in the primaries as well. If you don't vote, you probably don't care, you know, but you got to care (laughs) because you make a difference. That's right. (laughs) You could be the deciding vote. You absolutely could be. So uh, thank you so much for coming in. I really appreciate that. And we'll be seeing you, Tony, this Saturday for That's Two right. KC Cares. Yes, from please ten, come on down. We look forward to seeing everyone. Ten to one down there. I will be out there. I'm looking forward to seeing you. Thank you so much for everyone. Um, we do care, so please care as well, because <laughs> together we can make a difference. And a big aloha. Aloha.